Hello children today we shall learn about water conservation in our previous video we learnt about rain water harvesting in roof that is a great way to use the sweet rain water now and save the underground water when there is water scarcity isn't it but when there is too much rain we can't save all the water in roof a lot of rain water would go in drain how can we save that rain water you know we can send that rain water underground so that it could be used in dry seasons besides in few places the underground water level has gone down so much that wells tube wells are dry in these places rain water must be sent underground to increase the underground water level so that it brings water back in wells and tube wells how do we do that there are many ways to send rain water to underground to increase the underground water level let us see a simple way first dig a pit in the ground so that rain water can reach underground where would we make this pit we need to make the pit in a clean ground so that polluted water doesn't go underground through the pit now how deep should this pit be it should be deep enough so that it would reach a porous layer of soil we know that the porous layer allows water to pass through it now rain water can pass through the porous layer of soil and get added to the underground water now our pit is ready but how do we ensure that water going underground through the pit is not polluted we need a filter for this we can make a big sand filter inside the pit like what we have done inside the tank earlier it's very easy first we need to fill a part of pit with big clean stones or boulders then above that layer we put clean gravels and pebbles making a layer almost as thick as the boulder layer and at the top we put clean yellow sand to make a sand layer almost as thick as other layer this special pit is called recharge pit now let us see how the rain water gets collected we can make clean narrow drains on the ground which would help rain water to reach the pit from surrounding field park or a school campus we shouldn't put any garbage in that area from where the pit is getting the water if there is too much rain we can also send rain water from roof to this pit using a pipe after storing the rain water in tank for daily usage let us now see how the water gets filtered in the pit while the rain water passes through sand layer it separates dirt leaves soil etc from the rain water and makes it clean then water passes through the gravel layer which ensures that rain water is not carrying away sand from the upper layer then water passes through the boulder layer the boulder layer actually gives support to upper two layers and allows water to pass through it easily after that the filtered water passes through the porous layer of soil and gets added to the underground water treasure this underground water is clean and it would supply us the drinking water for whole year through tube wells and wells now let us see how rain water went underground through that recharge pit
so we see the rain water harvesting is the best and easiest way to overcome water shortage in places where yearly rainfall is very low or the water table is going down as more and more underground water is pulled out every day for use with the increasing population so you must have understood with rain water harvesting the droughts can be avoided and sufficient water can be made available for usage by all of us but i know you must be thinking what about floods flood washes away many villages destroys the crops and causes devastation many of us have had difficult experience of walking or traveling on water locked streets during heavy rain isn't it but is there any solution yes people are building dams ponds to store the rain water that water is used in agriculture industry etc as we saw using just a pit we can send lots of rain water underground not only the recharge pit there are many other ways to send the excess rain water underground in many places in india a very long pipe which reaches the porous layer of soil is used to send the extra rain water underground thus a lots of water can be saved and the rain water wouldn't overflow the streets drains etc and again trees can save us from both flood and drought the trees stop soil erosion we all know after soil erosion the soil which is washed away by water gets deposited elsewhere and that decreases the depth of rivers lakes etc and those rivers lakes overflow after heavy rain so tree can stop flood too the trees give out water vapor during transpiration which helps in forming cloud and those clouds gives us rain which stops drought so we should plant more trees to avoid flood as well as drought the floods or drought are not the only water problems you know many people in rajasthan walk miles to fetch a bucket of safe drinking water there are many places where water is very scarce especially the drinking water drinking dirty unsafe water causes typhoid diarrhea cholera etc most of us have suffered these water borne diseases at least once so we all know how painful that time can be these are not simple problems which can be tackled in one day but taking one step at a time will surely make a difference in the long run so let us all vow together to take little steps starting from today starting from our homes so that in future we don't need to suffer from drought flood or waterborne diseases take care of water children bye bye